Halloween look. And I'm going to insert the picture right here. Hopefully, I could do this right. Hopefully, it's not a fail because I'm, I'm going to be so mad. Um, but I'm going to recreate this picture. I felt like it was nice, creative in a way, and like a little bit scary. But hopefully, I do good. Um, before I get started, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow me on social media. It will be down in the description box. And don't forget to turn on your bell button so that you can get notified every time I upload. And yeah, let's get started, shall we? So I guess you start off with orange first, right? I will start off with the orange. Yeah, I don't even want to do this no more. Alright. I'm just go for it. So I'm gonna start lightly. I'm gonna start with the orange blaze. And I'm gonna do this part first because I feel like it's easier, and then the center part is like the harder part. So I'm gonna go with a flat brush and I'm gonna use this shade right here sorry about my palette it's all effed up because I had dropped it and this whole black thing came out I'm so pissed bro so anyways so I'm gonna start with the chin just let me look at myself how about that I'm gonna start with the chin so I'm starting off with the chin. I feel like it's easier if I go around. Um, I'm doing a voiceover because I feel like I don't want this video to be long because the actual time is literally like an hour. So throughout the video I'm going to be showing just half of what I do, like half of my face. Because, you know, it's basically the same for the other. Guys, imagine to take all of this out. I'm going to do a little bit my version in a way. And if you like it, then feel, feel free to copy me. You know, obviously, when you try to copy someone else's work, it's obviously not going to come out the same. So on the side of my cheek, I'm doing like a Y, like a sideways Y. Just look at it as that. Don't worry if it's not perfect. It does not have to be perfect when it comes to the orange part. Just worry about when it comes to the black eyeliner. When you're using the black eyeliner, that's where you could, you know, take your time and whatever. I am not a professional makeup artist. Um, this is just what I'm doing, a little bit of my own way i'm not creating the exact same look but i'm going for something like that so hopefully you enjoy it looks stupid right now but trust me guys first of all i don't know why the fuck i did that if i had to do one middle line in the so here obviously I'm going in the center and I'm also doing my nose because the look is supposed to be like a pumpkin wise but I turned it into like a skull clown type thing y'all see when y'all see the final look but I'm just doing some lines like I said doesn't have to be perfect just you know go carefully when it comes to the black eyeliner because you can always fix it with the orange. Yo, this really takes time, like, who's my time for this shit? Not me. Looks like that, and the color looks like that. So I'm gonna put this first before I add the black in the middle. I'm gonna start with this black. 
and I'm using the same brush because I really don't feel like dirtying, dirtying more brushes. I'm using this black shade right here and the palette that I'm using is Sultry or whatever from Anastasia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name right. So I start using the black eyeshadow first before I go with the black eyeliner just to trace to see where I'm going to be putting the black eyeliner. And this part you, you don't really have to really take your time. It's just like free draw type thing on your face. So I start using the black eyeliner, I do a triangle on the nose area and yeah. So this is the part where you want to take your sweet time because this is the part that's going to be the part where it's going to show more, it's going to pop out more throughout the whole look. So don't rush. So this part within the orange eyeshadow that I have, I'm just tracing within the middle, like what I'm doing in the chin, so that it comes out more. And obviously later on, I'm going to go back with the orange eyeshadow so that it could stand out. So this part I'm just filling in the little spaces that I had in between because I felt like it looked dumb. So I'm just coloring in the spaces that I have in between my forehead and I'm not going too harsh. So, so this part I start doing the mouth part and I do go in the center of my lips coloring it in and then I start with applying some shadow so that it won't look too ugly and patchy so it could be smoother and then after that i start drawing some lines going downwards towards my lips from my nose towards my lips and just creating a few lines um like i said it doesn't have to be that perfect So this part I start using the same black eyeshadow and I start doing my eyebrows so that my eyebrows could stand out as well and we're almost done guys. So this is the last step. The blood is kind of jelly, so take your time and it could get a little bit messy. So 
For this part, I use my finger to drag down the fake blood so that it could look like it's dripping. And you're done after this. So hopefully you liked it and happy Halloween guys.